<coughs> Hello. Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Uh, and I would like to bring up a certain subject that has already been talked about that before, both on news and on the Young Turks. And as you see, I continue to talk in my Irish accent. And part of that reasoning is due to the Roman Catholic Church, the Pope, in fact, the Pope. And as you've been hearing and learning, the Pope has been denying the, the good those who are, I believe, atheist, and not just, you know, not, not just those who are the, the LGBT community, but the atheist. Yes. The right of going to heaven. And as I've been thinking about it, I keep thinking about it and keep thinking about it. One thing just keeps popping in and out of my mind. And I want you to listen very, very closely. First question is, I understand that on Earth, the Pope is supposed to be symbolization of God's authority here on Earth. Okay, that's fine. We have tons of symbols of that. That in the Christian in community, but my problem is it is with the fact that um <clears throat> it says in the Bible, "Thou shalt not judge unless he wants to be judged, unless his he be judged himself." And I might be paraphrasing, but still, there's that. So, if that's the case, where does it say that man, regardless of what authority he has, have the right to judge based on whether you believe in him or not? about whether you could go to heaven or to hell. And see, the thing is, as a Christian, I've always been taught that, that I don't get to judge people that way. So, here we have the Pope who's way up here, well, well above me. Hey, you know what? I don't know where I am in the mess. I, I've given up. I've, I still believe in God. But my issue really is, I don't believe in the church. And even though I will probably go to a church, I really feel bad as a Christian. I think I should be a church. I think, especially on the holiest of days, considering what today is, which is Sunday, that I should be there, you know, praying with my brother at the end, and my, I don't know what you would call your sisters, like a sister and God only knows. But still, it's like, why, why, why Pope, no oh, Francis? I mean, I guess we, I guess everyone already understood, if you watch, that's an amazing atheist, video and um, well yeah oh um Undertaker freaks video Undertaker 
Hair Freak is 1127's video about that. Yeah, you know, they, they weren't going to accept them anyways, and it's not like they, they believed in God in the first place. However, I really wish the Pope would do it. I, let's just put it this way. There, this is, these are one of those times where I kind of feel if you're going to believe in that sort of thing, if you're going to be in charge of that, you do your best not to stick your foot in your mouth. But then, you know, with all of the people we've had here in our country who are in charge of all the things that they're in charge of, I guess we shouldn't be shocked that in good old, old Italy, they're having the same problems. However, I just want to scream at that kind of person. And those Christians out there, I don't want to hear it. The atheists, the LGBT, anyone, I don't care. They don't deserve to be judged that way. They do. If you are following the... Let's put it this way. I don't care whether we're in the Old or in the New Testament. If you heard of the New Testament... And we moved on to the New Testament. Back in your day, you should be more like, what? No. We're not doing that. Jesus said this, and I understand people are going to say, well, Jesus said a lot of things, you know. He also said, I believe, uh, I think it's St. Thomas More himself said, and it was in the seasons, man of all seasons, I mean, that, uh, Deuteronomy was ambiguous, which, if you think about it, that, if it's ambiguous, it could be anything, I mean, you can take the words and stretch them as far as you want, not that you should, <laughs> however, Sure didn't stop anyone from doing that to the rest of the Bible. It's just, personally as a Christian, it sickens me because I looked up to the Pope. And I continue to look up to the Pope and the nuns and stuff. Because, you know, I have met other people who are nuns. And they're not evil. They're not those, we're going to... We're going to make you right with your right hand, and if you're left-handed, until you bleed from your eyes, oh demon of the netherworld. They're not like that. Not all of them, anyways. But at the same time, I'm just thinking in the back of my head, why can't the Roman Catholic Church do that? But then, I guess you could say the same, ta same thing about your own mayor, and uh, that... Republicans and Democrats in this country are just nuts. No offense. And, hey, I'm a Democrat, and if I'm saying we're nuts, even though I guess if you Republicans want to get pissed off about us, go ahead. But, if I'm speaking out about you Democrats, don't put anything down there, okay? Anyways, yeah, it just frustrates me because I feel... As a Christian, I don't feel in any way, shape, or form I have any right to judge anyone based on their religion. And I've seen great examples, like the Amazing Atheist yes, and Undertaker Freak. Almost so far, everyone I've run into, with the exception of maybe Jacqueline Glenn, who I think she says she might be a agnostic. I get confused. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sorry. But if I am. But still. Um, it's just frustrating. Okay? It's frustrating to me as a person. Because, one, I, I guess this isn't a new thing, folks, but I've noticed a lot of my role models falling in my eyes. I just. And it frustrates me because. 
I used to look up to these people. And it's like, now what? Now what? You know, after all those years, all those promises, all the things they told us, all the things they said, I mean, I'm shocked if Shane O'Connor had a full head of hair right, right now. Uh, well, actually, no, I guess I shouldn't say I wouldn't be shocked if she did have a full head of hair. And, like the Roman Catholic Church, of course, that would be saying something now, wouldn't it? Considering she, what she did say back in the 1990s. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Hey, hey, this is Emelina Marley, Lady of the Realm, and I shall be returning with another video about, well, I believe I watched tonight. Hey. Oh yes. Uh. Well. <sighs> Joan River, the celebrity wife swipe, uh, wife swap thing that was on ABC last night. Anyways, this is. Please click sub subscribe. Yeah, it's going to be real fun doing that for a long time. And I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll go over now.